we know all too well about these smash and grabs, right? Yes, we've covered them a lot. Well, a bill cracking down on the rise of organized retail crime is now law in the state of Illinois. Governor J.B. Pritzker just signed it earlier this morning. And CBS 2's Muga Odigwe was there. She's breaking down how it would work. We've seen the videos of various smash and grabs, many of them happening here on the Mag Mile, and we know it is a growing crime trend. Let me be clear, this is not aimed at a low-income parent desperate to feed their child. It's not about a kid making a short-sighted mistake. This is about a multi-billion dollar industry of organized criminals carrying out sophisticated theft operations to turn a profit on the resale market. Governor J.B. Pritzker addressing the concerns opponents of the new law have expressed before, that it will lead to harsh penalties for nonviolent shoplifting. Pritzker arguing the law will specifically target organized crime rings, like this bus from last December, where Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul's organized retail crime task force recovered millions of dollars in stolen merchandise from storage units at two Chicago facilities. It was part of a large-scale investigation into organized retail thefts. Under the new law, prosecutors will be able to go after the ring leaders of such crimes. The law will also create a statewide intelligence gathering platform, a way for law enforcement partners from federal, state and local levels to work together in catching retail criminals. The goal is to clamp down on such crimes, which Raul says is not just a criminal issue, but also a consumer protection issue. Because what you have to understand is when these items are stolen and put on online marketplaces, to unsuspecting consumers and not uh, some of these items are food items and if they're not stored appropriately if they're if, if it's a baby food for instance and not stored it, it becomes a consumer protection issue under the new law third party marketplaces will now be required to verify the seller of whatever they are buying and also have the contact info of that seller along the mag mile we go deep way cbs 2 news